proportionality. First thing, what is direct proportionality? Sometimes we can say it is a relationship also. There is no need to confuse. As a common word, it is a relationship. As a common word, it is a relationship. Direct relationship, inverse relationship. But if exactly relationship is defined based on a certain condition, then it is called direct proportion. Just we'll go through. There is no need to worry. Generally, it will be defined for two variables, A and B. Simple direct meaning is if one increase, then another also will increase. That is meaning of direct relationship. That is meaning of direct relationship. If one will increase, another will also increase. It is not necessary. Both will increase by same magnitude. Like B has increased by 15%, then it is not necessary. A also will increase by 15%. No, it is not necessary. That will depends on which kind of relationship we are dealing. In direct relationship, what is the exact, exact relationship between A and B? It is in the form of linear, it is from the a square, it is from the quadratic or it is form, it is in the form of a square root. Whatever will be in the form exactly it is related between A and B, that will decide the magnitude of the variation. You are getting my point? But one thing is sure, if one will increase, another also will increase. If one is increasing by 15%, then other also will increase, maybe 15%, 20%, 30%, 5%, 7%, anything. Second is just opposite of that. If one is decreasing, then another also will decrease. Now, that just symbol wise, this is your symbol of direct relationship. If it is given anywhere, this symbol, don't think it is infinity. It is just half of the infinity. Infinity will be like this. Okay. It is just half of inf infinity part, almost half. Then uh, you can say anywhere this symbol will decide direct relationship then direct relationship you can say a is directly related to b to the power n b to the power n then either we can just take few example if n equal to 2 then a equal to kv square that is one of the part another part is a equal to k1 b square plus k2 b plus k3 or a equal to k1 b square plus k2 means any all the possibilities are open means how we are writing the polynomial polynomial of the two degree we can write k like we know ax square plus bx plus c same way we can write k1 b square plus k2 b plus k3 that is your maximum maximum expansion of any 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 polynomial of degree two then if it is a is directly related to b to the power n and n equal to 2 then 2 3 possibility we will get a equal to kb square that is your first possibility a equal to kb k1 b square plus k2 that is your second possibility and a equal to k1 b square plus k2 b plus k3 this is your third major you can say three main category you can say that can be possible next just suppose maybe it is a equal to k to the power k into b to the power n then again a equal to nth polynomial or in between this is your full uh, full polynomial this is your short polyno polynomial means only we are taking the highest power term and here we are taking all the terms then either full polynomial or short polynomial in between any of the relationship can be exist depends on the condition then here this relationship all possibilities are open now just we'll move try to go through next point graph between a and b depends on the value of power of n like which type of graph will be there graph will be parabolic in nature graph will be hyperbolic in nature graph will be like you can say it will be a baby curve type it will cross the x-axis multiple times how many how many you can say uh, this one um, critical point will be there all these things will depend